All right, I'm gonna give a little quick rundown of these hangar doors. I've been asked a few questions. So uh, this hangar is about 42 feet wide on the inside between the posts. Those doors you're looking at are about 13 feet tall. And uh, sorry about all the junk, but uh, hey, I'm working on it. I guess my airplane probably looks a little bit different than yours, but it's getting there. All right, quick rundown on the hangar doors. We have some latches that pin into the slab right here. Let's see how that latch is made. I just built that out of some scrap channel steel and some cold roll three quarter inch stock. Uh, See, new uses for a press tool, too. So I made my cables, and uh, to unpin the latch, you just pull the handle. The hinges on the post are bullet hinges for uh, wrought iron gates. These are large, they have three quarter inch pins, uh, six inch galvanized purlins, and uh, I plated the joints where the hinges attached to the doors. That's a quarter inch plate I just put a little plate under the hinge to reinforce the uh, those 14 gauge purlins. But that's the hinges. These doors open to the inside of the building. I'll show you how they open. They're on a trolley. That's a 1,000 pound I-beam trolley. It's actually an I-beam cut in half. So I made two T-beams out of it. They're pinned in the center, and the center is pinned to the slab also. We get a few hurricanes up here every now and then. Not too bad, no. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull this latch. Pull that door open. It's not a whole lot of hanger doors you can open with just one hand, but uh, this is one. I'll give you some idea of what it looks like on the outside of the building. So this is the outside of those hinge points right here, here. Okay. If you want a better look at that trolley. There it is, it's an I-beam trolley. You can see I just kind of framed out and uh, framed out the gable above that I-beam right there. So that's just for the exterior of the building. But the actual trolley itself, the door's mounted on a little swivel and it's got some reinforcement under it where the uh, swivel attaches to the door. And I plated that junction right there with a big piece of quarter inch plate, about an eight by 20 on each door. Here's the end of the I-beam or T-rail, whatever y'all call it. All right, well that's a quick rundown of the hangar door. Hopefully that was interesting and informative.